G'day guys, Mike Beery here with Austin, Mr. Break 90, formerly Mr. Break 100. Video's linked down below. How you doing, mate? Man, doing good. We're back out at Hackberry. We're going on the course, on-course lesson. We've got the first tee shot coming up. We're going to talk a little bit about that because Austin, in the last episode of Breaking 100, you did conquer the first hole out here. But everybody suffers from a few first tee jitters. Yeah. You? Always. Let's go see how to <laughs> overcome those first tee jitters. All right, we're actually kicking things off on the back nine. This is our first hole for the day. Hole number 10, 507 yard, par five. Dog leg to the left. Opening tee shot here on number 10. Must avoid the fairway bunker on the left hand side, putting yourself in position in the fairway. Once we turn the corner here, it's time to work out what we do. Will we go for it or will we lay up? Laying up, you must avoid the big bunker short and to the left of the green. Okay, buddy, let's chat about this first tee here. Yeah. It's no different than any other. <laughs> you hit some balls on the range. Yeah. You hit some really nice drives too. Right. What's the worst that can happen here? Uh, how is this to the right, I suppose. Okay. Um, just that or just, I always get the jitters at the very beginning. And so a lot of times my contact isn't very good with that first swing. Yeah. Um, and so that's what I tend to get nervous about. I think that one of the things we should all think about is it's okay to be nervous, yeah. right? There's nothing wrong with being nervous. The problem is that when the nerves affect our performance. Yes. Sometimes, you know, we kind of get in the situation where we're trying to tell ourselves, don't be nervous, don't be nervous, don't be nervous. And then that kind of increases the anxiety. It does. So if you can tell yourself, hey, you know what? This is totally fine. It's normal to be nervous, but I know what I'm doing with my swing. I just hit some balls in the range. Right. It's not the end of the world if we happen to mess this up anyway. Okay. So sometimes just understanding that being nervous is okay. Right then we can just focus on process and... Try not to have it, uh, let it have too much of a negative impact. Exactly, yeah. zero negative impact. Right. <laughs> Ideally. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One more thing for you, Austin, mate. We talked about this in the range. We didn't talk about it for the folks on camera here yet. You're gonna be doing the pause swings for the most of the day here. I okay? am. Right, I am. so pausing at one and then just up and through. One of the reasons why we're doing that is you haven't had really any chance to practice the last couple of weeks. No. So a little opportunity to practice on course. Right. Austin absolutely ripped it down there. Wow. Absolutely perfect. That felt great. Good ball. <laughs> Thanks. Austin's ball was perfectly struck straight down the middle of the fairway, hit it in perfect position, avoiding the left bunker that we already talked about. Here's his ball. Let's go see what he's going to do for his second shot. 250 all the way to the pin. 250. Second shot here, par five. We've got bunkers short left. We've got bunkers right. Pin is middle back. What you thinking? I'm almost thinking laying up because I know I don't I don't have anything that's 250. Yeah. Um, and so I was thinking about laying up just right in front of the bunkers there. Think of a yardage that you would like to play your next shot from. Okay. So how far would you like? I think maybe... I'd really like one of those kind of 30, 40 yard pitch. 30, 40 yards, unfortunately, is gonna get you too close to those bunkers okay. at the front left over here. All right. Somewhere over there, so. Maybe even further back a little bit. Then. Yeah, you, if you're gonna lay up, make yeah. sure you lay up to where you're not gonna put yourself in, okay. in the bunkers. Okay, let me look at the yardage real quick. Yeah. So the sign in the middle, uh, where the cart path sign is. Cart path sign, I'm yep. At 180. Okay. I think ideally I'd like to be just short of that. Um, okay. So if you're somewhere there, that's going to be a 70 yard shot. Okay. It does look like it's, if you're just short of that, you'll definitely stay short of the bunker. Right. So. Okay. 180 yards. You got to include a fairway bounce here. It's not going to bounce like a green. Okay. So it's going to bounce a little more firmly typically. Seven. Yeah. I think that uh, 180, I think you could hit your seven and, and be all good right here. Okay. Yep. Sounds good. Good, now a little coaching tip for you here, Austin. The ball is slightly below your feet. Yeah, exactly. So I want you just to stand slightly wider, slightly more knee flex at a dress, and then you should be all good. A little thin off the lie, but it's gonna be just fine in the left rough. Should sit short of that trap. Ooh, it scampered through there. It really had some, some mustard on it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's little, go see what we got. Little worm burner there. All right. <laughs> Austin's ball did take a hard bounce on the left-hand rough there, scampered through that Bermuda rough, 
Now we have a tricky shot over the bunker under the tree. Mate, we got a little unlucky here. It kicked, I think, on the downslope of one of the hills over there. It kept rolling through this Bermuda rough. We got an interesting shot here. A little unlucky, but a little bit like I need to make a better shot to set myself up better for the for the next one. Agree um, on both points there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. This will be fun. Let's figure out what we got ahead here. Got definitely some tree branch yeah. trouble and obviously some bunker trouble here as well. <laughs> so we need the right trajectory on this one, mate. Mm. What are you thinking? I'm thinking about getting like the 50 or the 50, well, maybe even less, something with a little bit less trajectory and just doing a little punch shot Yeah. and trying to almost hit it into that hill and then... Let's go over here for a second. Let's okay. chat about this together because first thing that I would take into account is if I'm standing here, first thing I'm going to figure out is what club can I use to get underneath this tree? Right. And then second thing I'm going to choose is what club can I pick here that's going to carry that bunker? I don't know that banking it into that slope is perhaps the okay. easiest option Great. it's an option obviously the greens a bit above us too so yeah. we're going to run the risk of something coming out too hot too Great. flat it's an option if you felt great about your game <laughs> that might be one way to do it we're going to have a little nearest to the pin challenge here let's buddy. do that that sounds fun let's have some fun Get up. Oh. It was a good shot though, mate. I, I'm happy getting it over yeah. and, and through. Very good shot. Thanks. I actually think I can land it on. Do you want me to land it in? Do you want me to hit it into the bank or do you want me to land it on the green? I'd love to see if you can get on the green without hitting the bank. That'd okay. be interesting. I can see like there's a slight little gap through here that I'm going to take it. <laughs> I got to see it. Oh, I see you. Uh huh. Get up. Wow. Stop. That's pretty good. That's a great shot. Thank you. Okay, we were at that tree over there. Austin's just on the front of the green. He's going to play a putt chip that we taught him in the last episode. That's Mike's ball right there. Pretty good. Wow. All right, he's going to do the putt chip. You need a little refresher on this, mate? Or? I would love a refresher on this. Okay, it's going to be feet close together. You can just set up for a little practice deal here. Okay. Feet close together. The ball's going to go in the middle of your stance. Okay. You're going to grip down and use like whatever putter grip you would normally use. Okay, so even on the stick if you need to. Yeah, exactly. Right? Holding down onto the shaft. Eyes are over the golf ball where the golf ball would be on top of the club. Putting stroke back and through. It's a, it's a little more speed, a little quicker tempo than a normal putt. We're putting with loft. You're ready to go. You just gotta get your aim dialed there, bud. Shaft is neutral. Short. The contact was fine. I think the greens are pretty slow today, mate. They're a little from they're what little I can front, tell. Yeah. Yeah, but slow. we're on. Let's go roll it. All right. They are slow. Nice job, mate. Good puck. Thank you. Austin, off to a good start, mate. Bogey, a little unlucky. Probably could have made par if we didn't get unlucky on that second shot. But nonetheless, we we're going to talk about the putt chip and distance control. You hit that one really well. Distance control is just going to come with a little more practice. Right. But nice putt there for Bogey, too. Thank you. Solid yeah. one. Thanks. Hole number 11, 174 yard, par 3. Hole number 11 has two sets of tee boxes today. We're on the left-hand side of the pond here. This is obviously a par three over water. We need to avoid short and left. Also a bunker protecting the green to the right-hand side. Today's pin is cut in the front section of the green. This is a tricky pin placement with a lot of slope. Cannot miss this one, short and to the left. Alrighty, they got us on the other side of the lake today. There's a pond here, the green's over there. Other tee boxes over that way. Austin, what do we got over here, mate? 145 to the pin. 145, okay, yeah. yeah that other measurement is all the way to the other yeah. tee box. But this, a little bit of a sucker pin placement here. I mean, front center. Front, just over the water. Yeah. Just got to pick the right club here. Let's do it. We're going with eight iron. 
caught it a little on the toe, but it is straight at the flag. Be the club Get today. Get it is online. Oh, oh man. No. It literally hit the lip yes, of the water it did. over there. Oh. And it was straight at the flag. Unfortunately, Austin's ball did land on the ground and came back into the water after a drop. This is the shot that he is faced with. He needs to get up and down to save bogey. This is one of those ones we were working on. That... Yeah, exactly. So here's the shot that Austin's faced with right here. We were just talking. He had the 58 out at first, but we kind of like the 54 from here. He's hitting from an upslope. It's going to launch it a little higher, and it's also uphill to the hole. It's not going to need much. Nope. I like that a lot. Oh, I love it. Get in. I love it. Get in, Get in there. Austin. The short game's feeling better. Look at this guy. Yeah. yeah. Hey. This, this makes golf fun. Nice. <laughs> it's going to be a good save right here. Yeah, thanks. Nice. <sighs> Having a short game really helps because on something like that, we're even. You know, it was a par three and I still had to drop. I can still, if you have a good short game, still save bogey on something like that. Yeah, before you would have made double for sure. Easily. Right, you yeah. almost actually made par right there. You almost <laughs> chipped it in for par. Right. Good job. Thank you. Hole number 12, 531 yard par five. Hole number 12 is a straightaway uphill par five. There is a fairway bunker on the right hand side of the fairway that comes into play off the tee. Also fairway bunkers in the middle of the fairway on the layup shot. The green itself is wide and shallow. Must avoid the green side bunkers as well. Started straight, just a tiny little fade either left side of the fairway, left rough, absolutely no problem. Left fairway it is, my mate. We'll be all right with that. That's fine. So you've bogeyed the first two holes. This is where you're at now. Before we were like, if we could go bogey and then double, then bogey, then double, and just repeat that, we break a hundred, yeah. right, on a par 72. Now it's if we can bogey every hole, that gets us right to 90. Right. So you know, I mean, if we're shooting a few rounds in the 90s, that's going to be great. Yeah, it's going to be exciting, right? Because we've broken the hundred once. Yeah. But and I don't think you've played since then. Or we did the little, you know, the putt chip stuff out of Brookhaven. Right. But the goal now. Bogies and better. That's right. Austin did hit an excellent ball down the left-hand side of the fairway. Let's go down and see what he has for his second shot. 280 to the pin. Okay, Seems sounds right. Yeah. Second shot here on the par five. 280. We've got bunkers in the middle of the fairway yeah. that we have to take into account. You're in good enough position here to get over those. So it's what distance do we want for our third shot? What do we need to use to get there and will that keep us out of those bunkers in the middle of the fairway so i went with hybrid okay because uh, i believe that should get us over the bunkers did you shoot the bunker by any chance 160 160 to carry it 165 to carry okay so um, hybrid should that's not going to get to the bunkers that are by the green no should be perfect should be kind of right in between over the first bunker but in front of the other ones okay yeah. and it might leave us around 100 yeah kind of ish yeah sounds good Oh, I hit it good. Dead straight. Right down the middle. Carry the bunker. Carry the bunker. Yeah. Austin, good shot, mate. Thank you. I, I tried to say mate there, but I was like, buddy? Uh, <laughs> easy now. Either way, good shot. Thank you. I think I was trying to say buddy and mate at the same time. Yeah. So. And you called me what? Like bait. Yeah, I have a girlfriend and she might not be too happy with you calling me Bay, so just be careful right. there. No, there was a T. Yeah. It was bait. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> not like fish bait. But I'm not saying now I'm just a, a piece of bait, huh? <laughs> right. Yeah. Austin played an excellent second shot with the hybrid there. Let's go down and see what he has for his third shot. All right, let me flip around here. That's where we came from. That's the bunker that we had to carry with the hybrid. So Austin's ball over in here, right? We've got the flag, bunkers short right. Austin. What do we have, mate? We have, we're nine, 92 from here. My ball's about, what, five yards ahead of us? Well, let's so. go up there and shoot it yeah, from there. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Nice thing is that is portable. <laughs> <laughs> is that how this works? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get to walk to the ball, shoot it. 83. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm thinking 54. All day long. Yeah. All day long. Not a full one. No. Just a nice, easy swing with the 54. Yeah. Yeah. 
looking like a little three quarter, mm -hmm. a little more maybe than a nine to three swing. Right. Austin, this flag also, mate, it's well over on the right hand side of the green. Okay. So we don't need to kind of flirt with the pin itself. We could play a little to the left of it. Okay. So then we don't have to worry so much about the bunkers there. Okay, sounds good. Ooh, carry the bunker. It's up, we're chipping. Kind of dragged that one a little bit. Yeah, it, it had a little more loft than I expected on it too. I think the loft was okay. Okay. Maybe the club face came through a little closed. Yeah. Definitely shot off to the right a little bit. It did, it jumped a little. But with your short game, you might make birdie. Let's, let's see. <laughs> let's do it. Austin did carry the greenside bunker, did not make it all the way to the green. We're in the Bermuda rough. Not much green to work with either here. One of the things we should say, we haven't worked on that part a lot, but the hands do work slightly different to how they do in the full swing. You'd need to hold those off a little bit. Okay. So keep that in mind, because your tendency is to miss those to the right. Yeah. So hold the hands off just a little bit on those. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right, so here we are here, mate. I don't know what you're thinking from here, but you've got a really nice lie. Yeah. You've got a couple of options. You could either land it onto the green with like a 54 degree. Yep. You could use like a putt chip and even bounce like an eight iron or something in the fringe grass here. You, you know, you've got options. What are you kind of... I'm kind of leaning towards that 54. Just like you did on the last hole. Yeah, exactly. Totally agree. Okay. Actually, Austin. Yeah. So I'm going to have you play this out with your 54. Okay. And then just for fun and practice, you and I are going to have a little eight iron putt chip challenge. Love it. Chipping it into the fringe. Love it. Let's do it. Okay, good try. Yeah. Contact was good. Yeah, it, contact felt good. It was a little, it rolled a little quicker than I thought it would. Yeah. Yeah. And that's probably one of the reasons why the eight iron putt chip might be, you know, a solution from here. Right. But let's go putt this in. Okay. Missed it. Yep, same thing. Good job. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. You. Yeah. Me. <laughs> there. Yeah. Eight iron. Nearest the pin's the winner. Let's play. It's a little slick down there. It is a little slick. Ooh. Too much. Way too much. I'm gonna get it again. Okay. I win, but he's <laughs> gonna hit it again. Still too much. That was really good. Now just less stroke now. Closer. One more. Okay. You're getting real close. Yeah, it's, it's starting to get that feel for it. Get there. Good job, mate. Thank you. Your chipping's gotten way better. Yeah. Now it's just about kind of getting consistent with the shots that you know right. and adding other shots so that when you're on the golf course, you can decide, well, this looks like it's a putt chip or this looks like it's a 54 or yeah. whatever the case may be. Just kind of adding more tools to the toolbox. Yeah. But that's a win to me. <laughs> Alrighty guys, that is it for part one. Thanks for joining us today. Hit the like, subscribe, follow all that good stuff. Part two is coming up. Make sure you stay tuned, see how this round finishes out. Guys, of course, until next time, good golfing.